areas that were particularly difficult that you wish you would have studied more? Um, soils, the conceptual questions. Like they had a lot of stuff about like uh, the type of footings that were needed for certain areas and I didn't study at all. Mm. So I think that that was, that was like the only thing that I thought I felt like I needed to study. Um, everything else I pretty much felt good about. Okay. Are there any topics that were easier than you expected? A surveying. It was actually like one of my questions was just like, a, um, uh, like the click and the, they gave me like a list and it was like, I'll click all the ones that relate to surveying. And it was like back sight, foresight, uh, di differential leveling, like just the stuff that go with it. It was like, oh, if you took a surveying class and you at least was alert, it was easy. I only had a one question of find like differential leveling. I was actually, I only had to stop two questions and the rest of them were conceptual, but they were like basic things. If you just pay attention, they were easy. Yeah, that was easy, and actually, mm -hmm. I found statics to be easy. Oh, <laughs> <Look> <laughs> I knew how to solve them all. I was like, "Oh, I know how to do this, this, that, and dynamics." Because um, I actually I had a dynamics question that I had solved, and then I had another one that was very similar right after it, oh. and then I I solved the second one. I was like, "Oh wait, I needed to add both of them up together," and I went back and. The, both of the answers that I needed, I got, well, both answers was on the test, but one was wrong. If you saw it the wrong way, then one. And I was like, go back, look at it. And I was like, oh, then I got the right answer. I was like, I'm happy I knew how to identify the concepts because I was able to, if I wouldn't have saw the second problem and it was exactly the same, probably would have just missed it. But when I saw it again, I was like, oh, wait, I did something wrong. So, yeah, statics, dynamics, and surveying was actually... I expect the status to be like challenging for me, and that was the easiest one. Yeah, uh, I'm really surveying. surprised because yeah. I remember you told me that before when we talked. You were like, you know, you struggled with statics, uh, mm -hmm. you were scared of it, and then you also told me about the score. It never moved. It yeah. was always <laughs> it was always the same. So yeah, like because it was every everything every status question I had was what we ran over. It was centroid. It was. Uh, Moment of an was it a moment of inertia? Yeah, uh, it was uh, it was an uh, another one. Uh, uh, what's the name of the problem? <laughs> like the I equals B H Q. That's the moment of inertia. Yeah, moments of inertia. That one. Yeah. yeah, it was like all, and it was like an equilibrium. One of them was so simple, I thought it was a joke. They were like, uh, "What's the force in member A B?" Okay. And it had the force like coming off of the member and I'm just like, it can't be that easy. Like I don't even have to solve the problem. I just, it's right here. I was actually going to like, I looked at it and I was going to draw it out. I was like, this is tricky. Like there's no other force it's, it's on the member. That's the answer. But it was stuff that was almost like, I thought it was, a, it was trying to like get me caught up because it was that easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See, that's what happens when you know too much about the subject. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it, guys, for today's video. Let me know in the comments below what is your biggest study tip. So just share that with us. And if you guys like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for new videos every week. Thank you guys for watching. Good luck with your studying, and I will see you soon. À la prochaine. Oh, yeah.